Good day and welcome to the second of our two-part series on how to change the hard drive in an iMac. Now, you can use this if you just want to wipe your existing hard drive out, but in our case, what we've done is we have pulled the old three and a half inch spinning disc out and replaced it with an SSD. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner right now so you can watch that video if you want to know how to do that. It's not very hard and it's not very expensive. So easy way to salvage an old Mac and make it quite usable in today's world. In this case, we're working on a 21.5 inch mid 2010 Mac but it's the same as all of the Macs right up to the M1, the new modern Apple iMacs. And the instructions are the same regardless of the size, whether it's a 21.5 inch or a 24 inch or whatever else you got. If it's an older iMac, this is the process. Okay, so we're all set up and all I've got to do is power it up, uh, but I'm also going to press Command plus R to get into the recovery screen. Basically, we need to put a partition on that new disc. So I'll explain that as we go. Just power it up and I'm going to press the command and R and just hold it. There it is, that took a minute, but it did come up. It's a lot longer than I would have liked actually. So I'll connect it to my Commodore network. Now just to note, the fan has come on and that fan is expected. Uh, we're going to give you a piece of software. We're going to tell you about a piece of software to get free that will turn that fan down. And remember that because the disc that's in there is now a solid state drive, it'll be an awful lot cooler uh, than this giant three and a half inch spinning disc. No moving parts means a lot less heat. Yay! Okay, I'm English. Okay, now we have to go to the disk utility, and that's because this is either a new disk, or it is a disk that has the wrong file system on it. Now in my case, I know this is running Windows NT, well, NTFS, which is a new technology file system. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. Click the top left-hand corner and select Show All Devices. Select your drive and select Erase. It doesn't make any difference what you call it, but I'm just going to call it Mac OS. What you're looking for, as far as format goes, is Mac OS Extended Journaled. That's the happy one. And you need to make sure the scheme is GWID. It's Global Unique Identifier. Select that. Select Erase. Bingo. Okay, done. Then close the utilities and let's go to reinstall Mac OS. Yes, High Sierra is the most current build of Mac OS that a mid 2010 iMac supports, which is this guy here. So that's current, that's as happy as we're gonna get. Let's click continue. And this is gonna download it from the internet through that cable. Agree. Agree. I read that so carefully. Yes, put it on the new disk. You have to click it and select install. And it says about 15 minutes. Well, now it says about 10 minutes. These times are really substantially off most of the time. Now I have a very fast internet connection. Uh, I download at 750 megabit per second and I'm on a cable, which means it's going to be full tilt. So we actually might not be too far off that time. But if you're on wireless, just expect it to be not as accurate. And here we are, boys and girls. I'm in Canada, so it's correctly figured that out. US keyboard's fine. Don't care. Don't want to transfer anything. If you had a previous Mac or you, know, you want to move something from Time Machine, you can do that there. If you want to try to move stuff from Windows Machine, that's fine too. 
Uh, I don't have an Apple ID for this particular machine, so I'm just going to click Set Up Later. And it's going to say, it's a really bad idea. An Apple ID is a big deal. You should have that. Yes, thank you. Just like Microsoft says, you should have a Microsoft account. Okay, but we're not going to. Uh, yeah, I read the agreement very carefully, talked it over with my lawyer. I'm going to call this person User1. Clever name, I know. I don't want to have a password or anything on this, so I'm just going to click uh, Continue. Let's see if it lets me do that. No. You really need a password. Hint, by the way, is the password. Any real security system won't let you do that. Let's see if this does. I'm going to change the picture just to change it. Okay, there we go. Click Continue. The hint can't contain the password. So I'm going to do this. Let's see if it'll let me... Yep. So there we go. Just adding spaces. Express Setup. Yes, that's what I'm going to select because I just want to get through this. Okay, for some reason doesn't like the key. And the first thing I'm going to do on this is download Microsoft Edge because it's the best browser, I believe. So I'm just going to put, type in Edge here. And that's Edge. And I'm going to select Download and it's probably going to come up straight with for Mac. And it does, there it is. Edge, by the way, is just a version of Chrome. So this is Mac with Intel, next. It's just a really good version of Chrome. Here's Edge. And now what we want to go find, well, we go through this initial little setup. And what we want to search for here is free iMac fan control. So we want to turn that annoying fan down. And this is a very good one, so let's go here. Save download. While we're doing this, by the way, I'm gonna change the search engine to Google because while Bing is good in the States, it's terrible everywhere else. And I'm not in the States, so I'm gonna use Google. Address bar search right here. I'm gonna change that from Bing to Google. Open Mac fan control. Yep, move it to applications. password. And you can see here, there's your fans. And you can see why it's making so much noise. Everything is at full control. Wrong. Custom. We want to slow this way down. The hard drive, we want to slow down even more. Listen to that. In the CPU, we want to change that to a sensor. So, okay. Listen to that. Now I'll go back here and I'll change the ODD to sensor value and click OK. And I'm going to change the hard drive value also to the sensor value. You know what? Which sensor do you want to use? So I will use, in this case for the hard drive, I'll use the Crucial uh, detection here. The Crucial, by the way, that's the brand of the SSD that I put in. There we go. Look at that. How nice is that? Quiet, so very usable. All right, so let's close that now. Let's close that now. Let's close the browser now. And you'll see that this thing is like a new machine. It is fast and it is functional. Okay, so it says it's ready to go. So I'm going to update all and I'm just gonna click restart here. And it will update iTunes. Safari, and some security updates and things to, well, some stuff from 2020. It's pretty good for such an old machine. Okay, so let's check a couple of other quick things. Let's go into system preferences. Take a look at general. Everything looks pretty happy here, huh? Nothing unusual, right? So let's go and dig a little deeper. Let's get out of this. Go to the finder. Go to Applications and dig into Utilities. And that'll get us to Activity Monitor for those Windows people. This is the rough equivalent of Task Manager. Shows you what's running, how things are going. Everything looks happy here. I've just joined this uh, in the uh, interim, by the way, while you weren't looking, I joined this to the 
my wireless network, everything's good there. Let's drill into system information. You can see how fast this comes up. It's, this is a highly usable machine now. We can drill into the disk because that's the big thing that we changed. See here, it's a crucial solid state drive, SSD. Everything looks just happy can, as can be in here. Okay, so let's restart this just to see how fast it is. We'll click the Apple, restart. And no, in this case, I don't want to have everything reopen, so ready and a go. Down. Coming up. And it's up. Okay, I'll put that up against any modern Mac. And are modern Macs faster? Of course they are. I'm not trying to be, you know, dramatic. But just as a fact, this is fine. Like, this is highly usable. And uh, even right after starting up, we can get into the Finder. And everything just pops. Just no delays. Everything is nice and smooth. Let's wrap this up with about this Mac. And you can see here, everything looks pretty darn happy. Hey, if you found this uh, video useful, please give us a like. It really helps with the Google algorithms. Subscribe's also appreciated, but mostly comment. If you have a question, put it in the comment section. We'll get back to you or somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.